Um, today eight, how do you like my robe? Pretty fancy, isn't it? Nice and bright and colorful. It kind of matches our ornament for the day. Anybody guess what it is? Joseph's coat of many colors. If that's what you said, you've gotten it right. If not, you'll get to learn about Joseph today. Joseph was one of Jacob's son, but he had 12 brothers. Oh my gosh, can you even imagine having 12 brothers, let alone the sisters that he had? Well, anyway, Joseph, this is going to be my Joseph because he's colorful. Joseph was a favorite of Jacob, and Jacob liked him so much that he made him a special ornamental robe, and we call it Joseph's coat of many colors. Well, one day, Joseph's brothers were out tending their sheep, and Jacob sent Joseph out to check on them. So Joseph came to see his brothers. Well, his brothers saw him coming from a long way off, and they did not like Joseph. They were very jealous of him. God had given Joseph a special talent. Joseph could interpret dreams. And he was always telling his brothers about the dreams that he had. And many of them were not good, according to the brothers. So anyway, here comes Joseph up to see his brothers. And his brothers decide that they are going to kill him and get rid of him. Well, along comes a band of traitors. And the brothers see them coming in the distance. And so the oldest one convinces them, let's not kill him. Okay, let's just throw him in the cistern or a well. So they threw him in the well. And the traders are coming along. And they decide that they are going to sell Joseph to these people. So anyway, they haul Joseph out of the well. And they send him away with all the traders. Well, the traders are headed to the land of Egypt, and they end up selling Joseph, and he works for the Pharaoh. Well, Joseph becomes very good, as I said, of interpreting dreams, and he interprets dreams for different people, and he interprets dreams for the Pharaoh, and pretty soon the Pharaoh puts Joseph in charge of all of Egypt. He is so impressed with him. Well, there's a famine that comes upon Egypt, or not upon Egypt, but upon the land where his brothers lived. So Joseph has stored up food. God gave him the dream that he knew the famine was coming. So Joseph stored up grain and food. Pretty soon his brothers came and they asked Joseph, not knowing that this was Joseph, for food. And Joseph gave them food. And pretty soon, eventually, Joseph told his brothers and his father that he was still alive and that he would forgive them. Now that would be a hard thing to do. The brothers had harmed Joseph. They'd sold him into slavery. They thought probably that he was dead or working someplace. But here, God had a plan for Joseph. Joseph would eventually save Jacob's family, the Israelites, God's people. And because of God's plan with Joseph, the line of Jesus, the Jesse tree, continued on and on. What could you do this week? Have you given to the community pantry lately? Maybe you could take some food to the community pantry. Or maybe you could bake some goodies to give to a neighbor. We all appreciate those gifts. But remember to keep Joseph's heart in your mind. He had a heart of forgiveness, just like God had a heart of forgiveness for us when he sent his son Jesus as a baby on earth. Jesus fed us, he forgave us, he leads us. And for that we say, thank you, God.
Don't forget to color your ornament this week or put your sticker on. Remember, it's Joseph's coat of many colors. And let's say a prayer. Dear God, the master of planning, we just ask you that you guide us and help us understand the plan that you have for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.